Welcome to Iverse Plus. Here we like to talk about comics, games, movies, and other elements of the geek culture. I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. Let's, Let's start, start the, the show. show. AMC Theatres and Cinemark Theatres are holding a marathon event in preparation for the release of the new Avengers movie. This event is going to occur on May 3rd, and it's going to show all six of the previous Marvel films that feature the Avengers. One ticket will get you in to see Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk, Thor, Captain America, and The Avengers. And just in case you weren't paying attention, Thor, Captain America, and The Avengers will of course be shown in 3D. Woo! Free headaches with every ticket. 12 hours worth of movies in one day is a lot, but when else are you going to be able to skip work and reconnect with all your favorite Marvel Universe heroes? Seriously, you should go. Work can wait. Be sure to check your local theater to see if this event is taking place. Now, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And for those of you in Austin, Texas, we've got a special treat for you. Alamo Drafthouse is going to be holding this event at three select locations. South Lamar, Slaughter Lane, and Lake Creek Parkway. So expect a little free beer, a little free soda, mm -hmm. and... We'll see you there. A lot of people have misconceptions about comic books. Well, we're here to fix that and maybe drop some knowledge on you on a segment we like to call Comics 411. Now, we're going to start off with a comic book myth. All comic books are about superheroes. Why don't we start off with a little information about the first comic book ever written? The Adventures of Obadiah Oldbuck is regarded as the first modern format comic book. It was written and illustrated by Swiss caricaturist Rodolphe Topher. Now, obviously, Obadiah Oldbuck is the Americanized version of the name. It was originally done in Swiss, and the character name translates to Mr. Woodenhead. It's about a man who doggedly pursues the woman he loves through a series of comedic adventures including mishaps, mischief, and duels. <laughs> Surprise is Mouse by Art Spiegelman. Mouse chronicles the life of Spiegelman's father, who was a concentration camp survivor. The comic itself portrays the Jews as mice and the Nazis as cats. And of course, there are plenty more comic books that exist that don't feature superheroes. Just some of those notables are 300, Walking Dead, and 100 Bullets. All of these are available on iTunes through the Comics Plus app. The stories and themes in these comics are as varied as any movie or book. One of my favorites is The Walking Dead that you yeah. just mentioned, and one of my favorite things about it is that you have these people with realistic reactions to a so far unrealistic situation. Zombie apocalypse, I'm ready for you. Crucial Comics! Morning Glory centers around a group of students who are accepted into Morning Glory's prep school, one of the most renowned schools in the country. Some are excited to go, others not so much, but when they get there it's a surprise for everyone, and not a good surprise. The school is clearly not what it seems. Now, this group of kids has to figure out how to stay alive and find a way to escape. This story is very suspenseful, a bit like Lost as the group of disparate young people find themselves in a crazy situation and have to work together to find out what's going on and get the hell out of there. It has an involved plot, so make sure to read it from the beginning. Just like Lost, every issue will bring up another aspect of the mystery that is Morning Glory Academy. Morning Glories is penned by Nick Spencer. He has written on Iron Man 2.0, Ultimate Comics X-Men, and also Existence 2 and 3.0. It's illustrated by Joe Eisma, who has worked on Dynamo 5 and Existence 3.0, among others. Newcomer and instant bestseller, Saga is an interesting book that blends the worlds of science fiction and fantasy with its storytelling. It focuses on the adventures of two deserters from opposite sides of a galactic war. To complicate matters, they just had a baby, and now both factions are hunting them down. 
The first issue introduces the protagonist as well as the individuals tasked with finding them at all costs. The characters and species in this book are interesting and varied from people with computer monitors for heads to fae-like creatures complete with wings. The bulk of the illustrations focuses on the character creation, with the backgrounds having a vague dreamlike watercolor feel to them. This helps the dialogue and story as the characters seemingly jump out from their surroundings. The artwork, done by Fiona Staples, known for her work on North 40, DV8, Gods and Monsters, and Thunder Agents, is the perfect blend of realism and abstraction, and makes you feel as if you're in the action with the main characters. Saga is written by Brian Vaughn, who is best known for his work on Why, The Last Man, Ex Machina, and the TV show Lost, among others. His storytelling is known for well-thought-out and very detailed story arcs that can go on for years. Vaughn got his start with Marvel Comics, but he soon decided to start creating his own characters and stories published by Image. Thanks for hanging with us here at Iverse Plus. We'll see you later.